So, last time, as soon as we made our escape at this point, uh, my game immediately crashed. So, hopefully Wait, it won't around. do that again. They're but, coming. Let's we see. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? <laughs> okay. Into the car. Get in! <laughs> Later, fuckers! Let's see, That's is it gonna do it? Rock. Is it gonna so do it? Fucking awesome. <laughs> is it gonna yes, do it? Oh, R. And meanwhile, that security guard's like, Hey, isn't that the chief of security kid? You guys' daughter? Okay, good, it didn't crash, guys. We're okay. Storm into the building. Middle of the night. I'm not even trying to be quiet. So we're gonna get in trouble. We're gonna get in trouble. We're gonna get in trouble. No, oh, we're not. Next morning. Oh god, do we have sex? Doesn't look like we did. In the movies, they just they do it with their clothes on all the time. So maybe. I like her hair like that. Purple going to blue. Or hats. Her hair's pretty like that. Morning, Selfie. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. <laughs> Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I do have a rabbit to feed. I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Oh, there we go. I just did it a second too soon. Look, it's much fun as it seems to just lay in bed and okay, listen to music. I need to get dressed now. I do have a rabbit to feed, so... Oh! Oh, God. Yeah, I glad to see you didn't blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the tickets now. I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. Ah. I wouldn't back out. Been looking forward to this for two episodes now. Alright. Let's get dressed. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. Why? You didn't swim in them. Find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Look at her cell phone. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Oh my god. <laughs> You guys have been back together for like three days, and she has been missing for months. Holy shit balls! Frank is scary. I Ugh. should have let Chloe take that money. No, because it, it would have had very bad consequences. I'm lucky David didn't bust me for acting like it was my pot. What's that? 
Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. Can I check out the news on this old laptop? I am sure the old laptop <sighs> At least we haven't news. been identified yet. We're clicking, no suspects. Police arrested a nude man with a sword at Up All Night Donuts. The unidentified man was charged with being under the influence of energy drinks and metamethines. I don't know. And he's being held without bail. Nice. Thank God she's okay. Following. I wonder when I can visit her. Public suicide threat at Blackwell Academy. Kate Marsh is reportedly in stable condition under supervision at Blackwell Academy. Interesting. Examine. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. She has abandonment issues, so she'd hold on to everything forever. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Interesting condom names. Wow. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Wow. That looks awful. Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. I want you, you to look like that girl I really to your like. Chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. No. Sorry, not that easy. Oh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. Now I can text Warren that you're saving yourself all for him. Good. I'm so going to best unfriend you for that. that I was love weird. that Chloe is so fearless. Yeah. I don't need to kiss her. Alright. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. Wow. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Uh, I think, I guess the outfit's okay. I don't really like the red on you, though. But yeah. Let's go. Let's oh my god. That smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Kate. Uh, there. Thank you from the heart of reaching me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at school, and the only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Aww. Yeah, let's go visit her. Oh, oh. Fuck, is there gonna be another threat? Hey, whore. Feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out. Wow. Wow. I don't know how that makes I've me a feminazi. Not go in there. Ugh. David might be in bed. I thought maybe like Ew. there'd be another bird. I'd have to save the bird. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. Is there? <laughs> Serious what? No dirty. way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. Wow. Check out Mad Max. <laughs> Ready to fucking thrash. I'm so hardcore. Oh my god, please stop. 
Please stop talking right now. Oh, Max, Max, Max. Hey, I spent the night at your house. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, uh, I mean Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. I know, tell right? Tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Uh, let's get some eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. Sure. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. Yeah, all right. I can handle eggs and bacon. Yeah. I cook those all the time. I should evolve and become a vegan, but... Huh, bacon. Why would anyone want to be a vegan? Let's see. I would have thought eggs would be in the fridge. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. I mean, it's a weird thing to love. Okay, there's cereal. There's a newspaper. Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. No, you didn't really do it, so... Alright, here's your Come bacon. Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. Oh, well, I don't know where you keep your eggs, ma'am. If you could tell me... That'd be great. There's cereal. There's a bottle. You guys have like a fridge in the garage where you keep them? Nope. Ah, oh, jeez. Can you help me get this bird out of here? No. I can't. Sorry. Lady, where do you keep your eggs? Um, hey, you guys got an answering machine. Oh, why are the eggs by the door? Oh, groceries. Okay, that's a weird place. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Why don't you just carry your groceries all the way into the house? I don't want to counter, jeez. Lazy. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Was Rachel mad at Chloe? Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. But Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? No way. What? Uh, no way. I know I was selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. And when you took the rap for that joint, you proved it. Thanks, but it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me what, a century old? You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila. A breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Alright. I find it weird that suddenly Max is very, like, ah, Joy is Rachel. Well... You were gone a long time. It'd be weird otherwise. I guess the nobody dead. waters the plant here. <gasps> Thank you. Can I catch up? Thank you so much, Joyce. 
I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. <laughs> Are you just stabbing your eggs? Wow, you just swallowed that hole. Uh, bring those eggs and fake into my belly. Well, we get that again. Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Well, you're not really, so. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Oh, what's wrong with you? Crunchy's the bomb. Can I get up? Can I leave? Nope. Oh. Seeing you again. Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Yeah. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... Mm -hmm. And... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Aww. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? Yep. It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Feed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. God, I couldn't handle having a Chloe as my child. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. I, I would've just smacked her. No shit, it needs a password. Uh, How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Is it Joyce? I don't know. Search. Nothing to see here. Is it corned beef? Could be corned beef, Chloe. You don't know. Oh. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. I am so happy you were born today. Thanks for bringing me into the family. Oh. <sighs> I do always feel bad for this guy. <sighs> try that. Family. Stepdad. Magic eight ball says no. Quit. Search the padlock. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Maybe. Let's look for other stuff, too. Nothing in it. Hmm. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. She doesn't need another gun. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Maybe. You look kind of stoned. I could try the license number for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? I was hoping I could read it. Yeah, I think in like 
he's having such a hard time because David has been dragging like, his head around since 2001. The the thing where like when they come back, they have they can't can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Or they can't adjust to um life really well after the military. Obviously, David's parents care about him. Aww. That date might be a good password. I don't think it's a good password. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. Having you in the diner, nice to know that a gentleman still exists. Love to talk to you again. Aww. That might be a useful password. Maybe. Anyways, I'm willing to give David now a bit of a break. the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. I think he's very paranoid, and he wants to make sure everyone is safe. It's very noisy outside. Let's see that one. Worst hacker ever. No <coughs> way, Max. You totally froze oh, the no. laptop. Oh, no. Oops. Oops. Shit. Actually, let's just go all the way back. Last thing we need is for it to be like a time thing. No time has passed at all. All the way back. Let's go nosebleed. Come on. All the way. Almost there. Ugh. You okay? Uh, let's do personal. That one. Try again. Okay. That one. Such wrong. Uh, that one. Oh, shit balls. Okay. No way, Max. Over the top. Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, that one. Oh. Score! Max the hacker strikes again. It's not really a hacker. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Because he is Chase Rachel's friend. Chloe's Rachel's friend. So, like, of course, he's going to be paranoid about stuff that, um is going on with her like he doesn't want her to be a bad influence Rachel Amber 18 was picked up at 2.35 p.m. at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance this was reported by David Metzen head of campus who has witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious metal bag this officer was called in question to Miss Amber who was fronted with threats denials her bag was found containing various illegal that thing okay Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Overheard Kate and Diana talking about supplies for the Vortex Club party. Drugs. Watch Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate stays in the bathroom longer than other students. Drugs. Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. Kate has kept to herself since the Vortex Club party, not even church. Drugs. Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran off. Guilty. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Yeah. I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. Can I, like, rewind time so that he can't see that I've been on there? make your mom cry. Uh-oh. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? 
I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. Aww. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming yeah, pool. shit-ass punks. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Yeah. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Yeah. Hi. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more yeah. about her than me. Oh. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Mm, I have to side with Chloe. Like, in this instance, You're he's in a bully, room. David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. Yeah. You could have totally helped her. Yeah. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like Ooh. you. You even threatened me. Ooh. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Ooh. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Ooh. Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Aww. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. Aww. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. No. Like, that needed to be out, right? This is the kind of thing, or if you don't talk about it, then you guys, you'll never get past it, alright? So work this out. Nah, it's not my fault if you get divorced. I'll just get the fuck Max, out of here. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Yeah, let's just go.